Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Live with the Logans. Uh, Vlogmas. <laughs> Even though I haven't really been doing Vlogmas very well, but listen. If you didn't notice, I got my hair done. And I'm a new woman. So there's that. So I am actually, I just got done filming. I had to film. This is my little setup. I got one softbox, a reflector on a little baby table. Nothing special for those of you who think that I have a whole studio set up. It's really not anything much, but just a softbox, a camera, and a reflector. You guys want to see a little sneak peek? A little sneak, sneak peek, sneak peek. And this is what the footage looks like. It should turn out good. I think the footage turned out really good. I actually am so thirsty right now. I need to go drink some water. I actually just ordered groceries. My car is actually in the shop right now. I needed new brakes and I needed, um, to get my tires refilled because the cold like sucks all the air out of my tires. I don't know why that is. It's like a scientific thing that I don't know. I don't understand. I dropped my car off earlier and Cam went to work. So I don't have a car right now. Um, so I couldn't go get some water. I am so thirsty and I needed some snacks and some milk. So she just dropped my, dropped my stuff off at the house. I got some almond milk, um, some dill pickle chips because I've been wanting some dill pickle chips and two cases of Essentia because Essentia is the best water ever and I love having these claws because I can literally just open everything with them so who needs scissors when you have talons okay no Gigi not for you move back let me go ahead and get my water intake for the day uh, I'm gonna be doing um, some cleaning I need to clean look at my room like this is a mess all of this all this will be clean by Friday I promise Get all these clothes situated. I'm gonna put all these shoes in my closet. The room back there needs to be cleaned up. And then I have a cleaning lady coming. Millennial housewives for the win, okay? Hustle wives. I not only have my groceries delivered to me today, but tomorrow I have a cleaning lady coming to deep clean the house. It's not that I don't clean my house. I clean my house, but sometimes I need somebody to come and do the deep, deep dirty work. The cleanage will happen, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit eat my snacks, and then I will holla back at y'all. Yeah, we'll see you guys when we see y'all. The next day. Hey guys, cleaning people are coming over. If you guys don't know what Handy is, it is an app and an online service where you can basically book people to come to your house. If you have a house or apartment, they can come to your house, clean your house for you, or they can, you know, put stuff together, set stuff up. If you have new furniture or something, or if you're moving out and you need somebody to come clean, um, for me, I like my house to be deep cleaned every now and again because like sometimes I'm not here. Sometimes we're gone, like especially for the holidays and stuff, we'll go visit family and then we'll come back home and stuff hasn't been cleaned in a while or um, like I have family coming over that are gonna be visiting and I want my house to be like super clean and spotless because I'm trying to impress, you know, really easy. You just download the app, you sign up um, and then you they will find local professionals for you in your area. Those professionals will come to your house. They are background checked, so don't worry about them coming to your house and you know, messing with stuff. Uh, they are background checked. If you need more information about that, go to handy.com. You know, it's based on, the price is based on, of course, how big your house is and everything like that. You just let them know how many rooms you have, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. Um, and what day and time, you can choose whatever day and time you want. Um, you book it on the day that's convenient for you. And you basically will just let them know what you need done to your house. I actually just got off the phone with her a few minutes ago, um, the lady who's coming to clean, and she asked me, you know, what areas need to be focused on. It's super easy, super convenient, and it's very helpful for, you know, us millennial wives who sometimes we don't got time to clean up the whole house by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we need a little help. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting a little help. Trust me, okay? I do not have any shame in letting people know that I'm not the best cleaner. If I have the resources to pay somebody to do it I'd rather just pay somebody to do it I just I'm not as domestic as people think I am trust me I, I like to get stuff done in an orderly fashion and if I can't do it in an orderly fashion I'm gonna pay somebody else to do it in an orderly fashion okay if you guys want to try out handy for yourselves you can sign up um, at handy.com slash logans3 use the code logans3 at checkout you get your first cleaning for $39 so boom got a deal for you and you get your house clean no shame on your game Gigi. Dishes in the sink, you need to go in the dishwasher. And the oven needs to be clean because I got ramen noodle juice on the, on the stove. She's gonna come and clean 
while we go, I need to go to the post office. I need to drop something off at the post office. I need to take some stuff to Goodwill. And I was gonna try to take some stuff to Play-Dohs. I need to get rid of clothes. I have so many clothes that I just can't. So I'm literally getting rid of half my closet again, per the usual. This needs to go to Goodwill. This needs to go to Play-Dohs. And then whatever else they don't want at Play-Dohs, I'm just gonna give it to people. Whoever wants it, come get it. What it do, good people? About to uh, grab a bite to eat at this new spot called Kuma's Corner. Y'all heard of that? Kuma's Corner? Do they have any others? I've never heard of it before, so let's go take a look. Lock the door. Oh, you did, you did, you did. Watch out, don't get hit, oh my God. Y'all, it's so nice outside. It really like, is. Like, it's December 13th, and it's 45 degrees outside. Like, it's low-key hot. Okay. It's low-key hot. I'm excited. Short. A little rustic wooded. Yeah, it got the fuego going. <laughs> You're touching doors. Got our food. I got this burger with waffles on it and blackened chicken tenders. We have got the regular Kuma burger. Pray for us, y'all. It's a little devilish in here. <laughs> oh, but the spirit of God is hovering over our table. Just right here. He's hovering. I don't play with demons. Two hours later. Okay, so she did pretty good. Everything looks pretty clean for the most part, except for my luggage that I haven't unpacked. Everything looks pretty good. So once again, you guys remember to go to handy.com slash Logan's3 and get your first cleaning for $39 if you sign up for a plan. Recurring charge terms and conditions apply. Visit handy.com to learn more. Hola, como estas? Oh no, abuela. Cam wants to show you guys that he's an influencer now, so he's, he's doing a PR unboxing. You know what I'm saying? So me and Gigi, we about to just break down to you what it feels like when you get your first PR package, you feel me? It's not your first, babe. This is like your second. It's my, se it's my second. No, and then you've gotten a package from Kiehl's before. That was your friend. So, still Kiehl's? Nevertheless, I'm excited. <laughs> your boy got a package. It's basically from the Bulls, but <laughs> from Timberland. You know, black folks don't say Timberland. <laughs> we say <laughs> Timberland. And for sure, we call it Tim's. You know what I'm saying? Where my, where all my New Yorkers at? Let me stop before they get mad at me. DJ, I'm gonna put you down for a second, okay? I know you wanna continue this unboxing with me, but it's gonna be all right. So your boy got, you know what I'm saying? Windy City exclusives. Let's open them up. Let's take a look. You see the paper? Paper matches the rest of the ambiance. Uh-oh, we got something peeking out here. Let me read this little note first. Hi, Cameron. Timberland is so excited to share with you their MVP of the season, the Timberland and Mitchell and Ness and NBA boot. We're so excited to see how you sport this style and hope you have a great holiday season. Love the Timberland team. Shout out to the great people at Timberland. Thank you guys for sending this over. Skirt PR, I believe that's how you say it. So, those of you that are true Chicago Bulls fans, you know what these, you know what these years mean. You know what these numbers mean. You know what I'm saying? 1991, 92, 93. That's the first three P 96, 97, 98. That's after Jordan decided, you know what? I'm so cold at basketball. I need to go do something else and then see, like, I need to struggle in doing that and then come back to the game to really value and cherish the game. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna win three more. You get a ring, you get a ring, you get a ring. Those of you that are OG Life with the Logan's fans, you know what that means. So we got the six rings on here. For the Chicago Bulls, Windy City, Hardwood Class. They even gave me a piece of the wood. 
guaranteed waterproof Timberland. And then we got the little, you know what I'm saying, the coiled up shoe strings. Y'all know what we doing. Chicago Bulls with it. The Timberland logo is black and red. Look, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is crazy. They got the bull on the tongue. They got Benny the bull on the tongue. Ken, what size are they? My size. Now, I'm, now I feel like a kid in a candy store when I used to get new shoes. I used to like look up different ways to lace them and stuff. I'm not a fan of the red laces. Yeah, I'm gonna probably put some black laces in here. I ain't finna be walking around with the red laces, but this is so dope to me. Step into the bathtub, step into the bathtub. You never wanna take for granted when anybody gives you anything because they don't have to give you anything. People don't have to do stuff. People choose to. So I wanna say thank you again to the great people at Timberland, the great people at Skirt PR, Sophia, thank you so much. This is, this is awesome, this is great. Y'all have touched me, okay? Look at this packaging, man. This is, that's, that's great. That is, that is just great marketing all around. I don't throw my shoe boxes away anyway. And that's, you know, it's kind of like a storage issue with me, but bear with me. All right, I'm, I'm logging off. So we are here at the game. The New Buck Stadium. It's beautiful. This is amazing. Draymond right there acting like an idiot. It's like so clean and nice. We in the little sweet level. I am here with a bunch of uh, Bucks fans, and they are not happy that I have on this Warriors jersey. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of Warriors fans here. Nick right there got us the tickets those guys don't like that I have on this Warriors jersey right now y'all heard him you know what it is the disrespect disrespectful I love Giannis he came in the Bucks arena with a Golden State jersey on yep and when I go to the Dallas games, I'll do the same thing. Disrespectful. I do the same thing. Disrespectful. And when they play Chicago at the United Center, I'm going to be in my Steph throwback Mitchell and Ness. Disrespectful. Same thing. We out. Look at this arena. It's beautiful. Thank you.
15, 20 minutes. Uh, I just left Target. I just got home and I got a whole bunch of stuff from Target and Home Goods. Well, not a whole bunch of stuff, but some new Christmas stuff because I got a new Christmas tree and then I got some new ornaments and stuff to go on it. And I got this really cute look at this. This is a denim jacket for Gigi. It, it's, it's adorable. That's it. So. So I got this wreath from Home Goods, or not Home Goods. I got it from Target. This is from Target. It's 20 bucks. It was on sale. So should I put it on this wall, or should I put it over the TV? I feel like there needs to be something over the TV. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Because that wall is plain. Right here. It's so baby. Yes, it should. It should not. Yes, babe. It should not. It's going over the TV. It's our tree. I got the frosted white. Baby's putting it together. Gigi, do you gotta go potty? Lord. She always gotta potty when we start doing stuff. Getting in the Christmas spirit. I gotta go back to Target and get some more before I put on the bulbs and stuff. I have all of my ornaments and things ready to go. Mm -hmm. 